Ever since I came back to RuneScape 3 playing my Iron Man, I've been wondering how easy is it actually to get GP on a main account because I have not played a main account in a very very long time and I've seen a lot of items be absurdly expensive. Like the ascensions were 90 mil each when I played, they are now 200 mil each. The Dragon Hunter Lance used to be 20 million and now it is 60 million. So I want to actually make a 24 hour challenge on my main account using what I actually have on the account already which I can go over extremely briefly. You can see everything here. I do not have ascensions. I have a noxious instead that used to be the best. Now it isn't unfortunately but I will have to do with this one. I have dry gores. I don't really at all have a magic weapon. That's good. So I will have to probably do ranged melee bossing and I have 4.5 million cash that I obviously won't count in for the last price check. I'm going to put this into my money pouch. I'm going to do that right now and then I will put all the money GP that I get in this tab. I'm going to also sell these magic logs so they are not counted in. Also I won't count these and the signets. If I would do legions in these 24 hours I won't count these as well as the leg pieces these won't count. So let's get into what the first thing I'm going to do on the account will be. You might have seen in the last clip that I have a timer on the bottom left. I have now started that and that is going to go all the way to 24 hours. I'm going to start off by doing some Vindicta. As I said, the Dragon Hunter launch is very valuable. And I haven't done this in a very long time. So it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to do with a, with a melee, with a dry gorse. And I have a Calphite Defender that I can use for the Resonance switch. So let's see what we can get. I'll have to optimize this setup a bit more because I brought a lot of potions that I didn't actually need but 3.2 million on the first hour gained. Second trip was only 2.2 million but I'm going to take a break now from the Vindicta boss and I'm going to do something else. I'm actually pretty interested in trying out the next thing I'm going to do so uh, you will see what that is going to be in just a second. I'm going to be doing some barrows and that might sound very weird but there is actually a necklace that was uh, put into the game for a while ago and it is actually worth 43 million and I have the of course PVM hub so I can just teleport here, here really quickly and I'm going to be using the noxious longbow, the dry gores and a chaotic staff for magic as I don't have a noxious one and it is roughly I think 1 in 100 drop rates for the 43 million drops so it's not even that rare and the normal barrels drops is some money at least like 300k at least minimum for each piece so uh, let's see what we can get actually i probably don't even need switches because they die so fast anyways with tier 90 but uh, let's see what the first loot is going to be 72k my current barrels kc is 29 so if you're wondering how many kc i will have done after this you can remember that i had 29 to start off with but uh, let's see what the second loot's going to be. There we go, that's the first drop and it's a pretty decent one. 1 million value, not too far in as well. I can actually have a check at what my KC is. My KC is now 34. Second item, a Derox Helm, 500k. Coming up on 2 hours of doing barrels and I've done about 40 chests. So that means I'm doing about 1 chest per 3 minutes. I'm going to aim for 4 hours of barrels, so roughly 40 more chests after this one. Let's see what we get. Pretty standard reward. I feel like I'm definitely getting pretty unlucky here. So I'm just going to end on this chest. It is going to be chest number 92 or well like 70 chests since I started roughly like that. And I've only got two items. So the last thing is not an item again. And getting like 60k rewards every single time or even less than that when you don't get an item. Not that good. But I did get three elites. So I'm actually going to spend some time doing those because you can get uh, fortunate component items and get quite a lot of money. Before I complete the clues, I'm just going to sell the runes, uh, most of them at least, and just put the money in my money pouch because I already have those runes in my bank and I don't want to stack them to, uh, you know, not know how much money I actually made in this video. So, not all the runes sold yet, but 2.5 million so far in the cash pile. Took like 30 minutes or maybe a bit more than that to complete all of them. I was a bit uh, rusty in the beginning, but uh, here we have the three caskets. I'm actually going to TP to a bank real quick and uh, let's get these open. Here we go, first one is uh, 70k and I can reroll three times, is that what that means? That's insane if that's true. 186k, yeah I can just keep rerolling I guess because these are not really that good rewards. Okay, 1.3 million and I still have one reroll. The penguin staff is the valuable thing, let's keep going. Uh, Ancient, that's another uh, fortunate component, 1.4 million, not rerolling that one. And the last one is going to be 1.2 million. 
Now the question is, do I reroll this? I don't think I do that. So uh, just from these three, I made how much? 3.9 million, that's crazy. Just for a small amount of time, I want to try to kill some lava strike worms. The ashes are currently like 100k each and it is pretty early in the morning. So uh, there shouldn't be too many PKers in right now. Last time I tried it, it was a lot of PKers there, but maybe around this time it should be fine. Look at this drop. I got one searing ash plus five noted. So this is a 600k drop from one single kill. So yeah, this is why these are uh, a bit annoying to kill. Quite a lot of PKers here, but I managed to get some Searing Ashes and hopefully I can get away. Doesn't seem like the most threatening PKer, so I probably got away. But uh, yeah, I only had time to get like 20 kills or a bit less than that, and then a PKer arrived. Actually going to end on this one hour, my Vampirism Aura is about to run out, so I did a full Vampirism Aura on these, and I got PK'd three times, but I only died once, and when I died, it was with like five ashes, so not too big of a deal, but there is a lot of PKers here, so three times in one hour, like every 20 minutes, you get PK'd. Not the most enjoyable experience, to be honest with you, so uh, I'm just going to take this loot all the to the bank, and let's have a look how much we made in one hour. The pure money that I got from the drops I just put into my coin pouch, but I think it was like 150k or something like that, so just add 150k on top of 11.7 million in one hour of doing uh, Lava Strike Worms. Obviously most of the money, or basically all the money, comes from the Searing Ashes. I got 109 in one hour. Pretty good money, I would say. Just to mix it up a bit, I'm going to do two hours of uh, Helvir, so it's not only Vindicta in God Wars 2. And I have a Ripper Demon pouch here, which is uh, apparently better than a Nihil. So uh, let's see how fast we can get these kills with melee. Extremely fast. First the drop, I got a Sirenic Essence, and this is actually not even that rare. But look at the actual value of this. 8.5 million. The last Essence that I got from the, uh, I think it's Sarosian one, from... Uh, Vindicta was like 400k, so in comparison, 400k to 8.5 million, this boss is pretty profitable because of that. First hour at Helver done, and let's see how much I got for this one, the big item, the Atlanta Dimes, which are 2 million, and then the Sirenic Essence, which is 8.5 mil, so 12 million for the first hour. Oh my, okay, uh, wait, that's the pet. Uh, it's not really money, but, uh, okay. What was the KC for this? I think I had like 100 KC before I actually started. 141 KC for uh, Twisted Antlers. Nice. Oh my god, with only 10 minutes left, Orb of uh, Sivir Elders, which is 8 million. And I have been getting really lucky with Lantadime drops as well, so this trip is going to be mental. And of course, another Sirenic Essence of the end of this trip. Only three minutes left of the session. I will probably have made over 20 mil in just this one hour. Session ended, so let's see what we made in this one hour with the big items as well. 22 million in one single hour of Helvir. It has been going extremely well, of course, on Helvir, so I want to do a bit more than just two hours of this boss. And look at this pet that I got from this boss. Lilvir, this is how it looks, 149kc pet, very nice, but uh, not going to have that out right now, but I do want to do at least an hour more, if I get really lucky on this one hour as well, then might as well do another hour, so we will see when I do get like a mediocre run I guess, a mediocre hour, that's when I'll stop. Oh my god, the <laughs> luck continues, orb. Again, for 8.5 million, I guess. 8.7 million drop already, about 20 minutes into that trip. Not the most valuable drop, but uh, dormant anima core leggings, which are only like 100k. It is a rare though, so might as well show it. The hour is done, and almost 12 million this hour. And by the way, if you're wondering, I've been getting this lucky with only 50% increase to the drops. I don't even have the 100% drop rate increase. So yeah, extremely lucky. I completed the last hour I want to do on Helvir, and I didn't get any rares this time, which is, uh, I guess I deserved to get nothing one trip. But uh, I got really bad loot the first kills. For like the first half hour, I only got stone spirits basically and nothing else. It was really unlucky. But then I started getting a lot of Lantadimes, and it turned out to be a 5.3 million hour after all.
So it's probably not insanely good money really, but I just want to try it anyway. So I'm going to AFK like two hours of Roarius and try to get some money from the keys. I have the corruption shot, so it's going to be quite good DPS with just full power armor, except uh, I have to use the War Priest of Arm the Gauntlets. I don't really have any good power gauntlets. So let's see what we can get in two hours in keys. That's the two hours done, and I'm using magic note paper, by the way, which are 1k each, just to note all of these, I don't have to bank all the time. Very cheap option to not have to bank. And I actually got pretty lucky, I got most Primus keys, or I got most Quintus keys, but second most Primus keys. And the uh, Primus keys are the most expensive ones by quite a lot. So in this two hours, I managed to get a total of 18.6 million, which is surprisingly good for just AFKing these creatures. I felt like that was surprisingly good for two hours of Raris. I actually did roughly two more hours and this is all the keys that I got. So let's have a quick price check on what the worth of this was. And I actually got a Sirenic scale this time. Not as many Primus keys, so I'm expecting this to be worth less. And it is 10 million. So 5 million this hour per hour. But uh, yeah, still like 28 million total from just killing Rari for 4 hours. I really want to do some Araxor, but I don't want to count these in for this video because then it would be kind of cheating like I started with 100 million because each one of these pieces are technically worth 54 million each, but I'm going to be doing the bottom path and if I do manage to get the last leg piece, I will sell the leg, but then I will only keep 54 million of the money from that for the price check at the end of the video. I actually forgot my adrenaline potion, so I have to go back and get those, but uh, first kill, 270k. First decent drop I guess, 2 Sirenic Scales for 1 million, I actually also had a Reaper assignment that I didn't even know of. If you've guys killed a Raxor before, I think you can relate to what I'm about to say. The spider minion path is so annoying, it is so RNG I feel like, the spider minions sometimes spawn like back to back to back, sometimes they don't spawn for ages, you have to wait for such a long time for them to spawn. And yeah, I, I just overall can't stand the spider minion path. So I'm actually going to end after this kill just one more after the last clip when I died. Uh, I just don't feel like it's actually worth it right now to do a Raxor. And uh, well, let's see what we can get for the last kill at least. And the last kill is uh, very slow because I had to wait ages for the spider minions to spawn. I know that there are strategies to like not kill the spider minions, but then you have to blast the boss super fast and you have to be kind of careful. But I don't really feel like doing that and I don't think I have the money or the gear to be able to do that. But the last drop is going to be 200k. Looking around at different things that could make me money, it seems like pretty much all the best money makers in the game, unsurprisingly, are very high level stuff. Like, for example, doing the Ambassador is very good, doing Solak is very good, doing the uh, next Angel of Death is very good. But I don't actually have a team to do this with, you, as you can see it has a recommended group size of 7, Virago is also pretty good. All of these things I can't actually do right now, and I think God Wars 2 is pretty much the best solo method of making money if you're not doing like Telos or Araxor. But uh, as you can see, I tried Araxor, didn't really feel like it was going that good. And Telos I haven't done in ages, and I would prefer to do that with magic, which I don't have a setup for. So I'm actually going to go back to God Wars 2 again. I don't want to do Helver again, so I'm going to do some more Vindicta. I would love to get that lance. Let's see what the actual price of the lance is right now. It's actually absurdly high. So if I could get one of those, that would be so nice money. 47 mil for just this one item. And the crest is pretty valuable as well from that boss. The crest is the... I think it's the crest of Sauros from that boss. 37 mil. So getting either of those would be super good. First hour done and I only got 3 million for this one. I didn't get any rare drops this time. So let's hope I get some the next hour. 35 minutes. 35 minutes into the second hour and I get the first drop which is a Sarosian Essence, but it is only from this boss 389k. No big rares this second hour either, except of course the Sarosian Essence, got a bit more this time, 3.7 million. 
Actually a Cerosian essence on the last kill of this trip, but uh, let's have a look how much I made this trip not an extraordinary trip at all. Got a decent amount of dragon bones, I guess 700k in dragon bones and 1 million in herbs as well, so I guess 3.6 mil is not too bad. Because I haven't got anything in 3 hours of Vindicta, I'm going to take a break and do 2 hours roughly of Rari. I want to do it until I have 22 hours done on the timer and then I'll do 2 more hours of Vindicta to end everything off. And hopefully get that dragon rider lance in those two hours but i wanted to get some consistent money so let's see what we can get in roughly two hours of rari two more hours are done and we're on 22 hours now so only two more hours to go and i got 10 million on these two hours so not too bad only one more hour to go and it is not looking great three million only for that whole trip and one hour so let's do the last hour of vindicta and uh, let's hope we get a crest or the dragon hunter lawns. It is the last chance. And that's the last session completed. The area has now expired and I did not get a rare item unfortunately. So Helvir has been way better in God Wars 2 for me than Vindicta. But of course as soon as you get that item from Vindicta it is worth a massive amount. I just didn't get lucky enough to get one this time. Another 3 million trips. So let's see how much money we managed to make in these 24 hours in total. Only 20 seconds left, so of course I can't really do anything in that time, but uh, I'm just going to pause the timer here, give me a second. And this is the whole tab, of course not including the spider legs, which I explained in the beginning is from another time, and the signet, so I won't count them in at, the, uh, at all. But I feel like this feels like nothing, right? But there's actually quite a lot of valuable items here, like the orb, the sirenic essence, which are both like 8.5 million each. We have the uh, Searing Ashes, we have all the keys, so I feel like I made a good amount of money, but I spent quite a lot of time at Barrows and I didn't get that amulet, which actually wasted a lot of time because I only got two single items in four hours, which is like 1.5 million together, so that was kind of unfortunate, but uh, let's sell everything and see what we made. I've sold all the less rare items and I got 23 million for that and here you can see I'm selling all the keys and the Sarosian Essence. The Sarosian Essence is sold for 900k, Secundus keys for 4.8 million, Sextus 3.7, 3.8 for the Turgus, 13.4 million for the Primus keys and 8.3 million for the Quintus ones and 4 million for the Quartus keys. So that alone was like 40 million right there. And we still have the Searing Ashes, which are hopefully going to go for a good amount of money. 10 million for those. The Dwarf Weeds and the Lanta Dimes I can sell at the same time. Oh my god, so much money from those Lanta Dimes. Let's see, 11.5 million and 5 million for that. The Dragon Bones that I got from Vindicta pretty much exclusively are going for 7.8 million. And the Sirenic Essences, let's see if they actually sell for the medium price. They did. They actually sold for slightly above 17 million, we're already over 100 mil and we still have the two orbs which are 8.8 .8 million. Not sure if they will sell for the medium price, I don't think so. I'm not sure how valuable the uh, offhand orbs are, maybe they're pretty decent, I'm not sure. They sold for pretty much the medium price actually, uh, 17 million. So in this time, 24 hours on an account that barely had great gear i mean i had a decent melee gear i can't really complain with dry gores and malevolent gear i didn't have mass work but if i had ascension crossbows i would definitely maybe do some more necks because the criminal bolts and stuff like that and araxor if it was better paths i could potentially have made more money but with the budget gear and stuff that i had the limitations i had and not being able to do ED3 and stuff like that because I haven't really learned it yet. I'm very happy with the amount of money that I got. 131 million in just 24 hours of gameplay. And what I've learned from this is that Roari is insane AFK money. You can just stand there for like 10 hours of AFK and you will probably make like... 60 mil if you're not even lucky if you're lucky you can probably make like 90 to 100 mil and just 10 hours of afking the ascension keystones because the ascension crossbows have such a high value that the keys are very high valued in themselves so i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please leave a like subscribe if you want to see future content from me and have a good one guys take care